I just made this sticker and this mock-up in under 10 minutes. And in this video, I'll show you how to do this for free and sell it on Etsy. So here we are in Canva and we'll be using Canva to create our stickers. So I'm sure you might have used Canva before, but if not, you can just click to the top right corner and you can log in or create an account. Uh, but once you have logged in, um, you are ready to begin. To start, all we need to do is go to the top corner here and click create a design. Just gonna put a custom size in. Gonna change it to inches and it will just do 10 by 10 and then click create a new design. Now, once that loads up, we have our blank canvas here and we can now begin styling and creating our stickers. Now, if you've never used Canva before, um, you'll see the left hand side, there's different tabs that we can click. The main ones that we'll be using is elements and text. So we'll be using a combination of text and elements to create our sticker. So really any idea that you have in mind, you just want to type the element in and search for it. So for this tutorial, I'll be showing you one of an idea that I thought of. So I'm gonna type in brain cartoon, and then you can click graphics and click see all. Now you will notice there's lots of graphics that have a crown. So this is for the pro version of Canva. Um, we won't be able to use that because if we do click that, we get a watermark. So this is for a paid version of Canva to get rid of these watermarks and use these elements. But we just need to be smart and try and find ones that don't have the pro paywall over it. So if you look hard enough and scroll about, you will be able to find some. For example, here's uh, a brain just now here. So this is a great starting point. I'm just gonna make this a lot bigger. And here we have our brain. What I'm gonna do now add is add a few elements here. We can't just sell um, one element by itself. We have to make it our own. So what I'm gonna do now is add some eyes. So if I type in eyes, I can see there's a big selection here. And a lot of these, frankly, do not have the pro tab over it. So I'm gonna click this one here, or scroll it down and make it fit here in the middle. Now we'll add a smile to make a face. And we can do the same and click one that we like. I like this one here. Move it down a wee bit. And that looks good to me. I'd like to add some text to this. This would be a, a weird sticker by itself. Now with Canva, there's lots of text presets that you can use. So it's just a case of choosing one that you like. Uh, for a sticker, I don't think you want anything too fancy. Uh, again, just make sure you avoid the ones with the Pro. Um, if you don't have a Pro subscription. Of course, if you do, you can use as much as you want. Um, but I like um, the look of this one here and I'm going to edit this um, to create a coat beside this picture. So I don't need the subtitle, I'm going to click and delete that and I'm going to left click and here we can just type in what we want. So for this I'm going to write study, drag it up to the top. I'm now going to hold alt and drag this down to make a duplicate and I'm going to bring this down here. I'm going to change this to study hard. So this is going to be the quote. Um, now I'm going to make this a bit bigger. I'll try stylize this to make this look a bit uh, better. So what I'm going to do is cliff click on study and now go to FX and then click curve. And that gives us the ability with this option over, over here to the left to curve it round. So I like that. For the bottom one, we'll also do the same FX curve and we'll do it the opposite direction. Now what I can do as well, just change the background so we, we know basically what it looks like. Um, the white can be sometimes offsetting. So if we click um, this option here, we can get the full gradient scale and we can choose just our background color. So just for contrast sake, I'm going to use this kind of pastel blue. Okay, so here we've just simply created only the element and the sticker itself. What we want to be doing is actually taking this background away. Now, on the free version, we're not able to um, download this without um, a transparent transparent background. When you click share and you go to download, um, you can change the file type. So J J JPEG, PNG, there's lots of different options. PNG is the only option that will give you a transparent background. However, I can't click this because I do not have a pro version, but that's okay. There's a workaround and I'll show you how we can do that. What we'll do just, just do is export this as a PNG. So we'll click download just now. And that says got the first file. So what we're gonna do now is show you how to get rid of this background and get this looking like a sticker. So to do that, we just need to go onto photopea.com 
This is essentially Photoshop, but it's on your web browser and it is for free. If you have Photoshop, you can equally just use that. But for this video tutorial, we're going to use Photopy for anyone who does not have Photoshop. Now, we just need to click File and then go to New. I'm going to change this to inches and do 10 by 10 again. Change the DPI to 300 and now we can click Create. Now, because I've got Adblock on, it does not allow me to do this. So if we just take Adblock off, we can refresh and we'll do that one more time. And here we have our uh, Photopy blank canvas. Now, what we're going to do is drag in our picture that we just created from Canva. So you'll see it here. We can drag this up a bit. Now, all we need to do here is go to the left hand side and click Magic Wand and just left click and it will highlight the background that you'll see here. If I click delete, it will tell me I have a smart object has to be rasterized first. Right click onto the layer over here and rasterize. Now if we click delete, it will remove the background. Now notice there will be some parts that are not deleted. So for example, here in the middle of the D, just do the same process over here in A, just here. There'll be certain spots that you just need to manually delete. But just like that, we've got rid of the background. To actually get it transparent, we just need to choose this eye option here beside background. And here you'll see that the checkered option has appeared. Perfect. A lot of stickers typically have a white background around it, just to make it look like a, a sticker. So we'll do that just now. To do that, we just need to double click on our, our picture here. And you'll get this option here. Now we just need to go to stroke, left click that and just change some of the options. So we're going to change the color, first of all, to white. So we can do that just by dragging over to the corner, clicking OK, and just moving up our size. And you can really change it to whatever size you want. You can make it quite big. That looks pretty good to me. Now just hit OK, and that's you. Now the D's actually getting cut off here, so I'm going to make this a wee bit smaller. Now that we've created the sticker, we just need to go to File, and now export it as a PNG. Again, remember, PNG is the only file type that recognizes a transparent layer. So just a case of naming it and then click Save. It'll download. If you can click it here, you can see we've created a perfectly great um, sticker. Now, if I was to go back into Canva, I'm going to just add a new page by uploading it on the Upload tab. Click here and you'll be able to see the sticker. It looks great. Now what we can do is create a mock-up so that we can post this on Etsy so that it looks appealing to actually sell. So we don't really want this background color here. So what we can do is just, for example, because of the study theme, I'm going to put a picture in of a laptop. So again, just clicking on elements and going to photos, you can type whatever you can to find an element that you like. This one here looks fine to me. I'm going to just scale it up so that it fits the background. I'm going to right click and then move to back. Now I'm going to click back in the background here and I'm going to go to edit image and I'm going to go to adjust. Now here there's the option to blur and I'm going to add a slight blur just so that the actual sticker itself pops more. Now if you click the image, um, the sticker itself, if we click edit image, we can add a shadow. So for example, a drop shadow, and you'll see that makes it jump out a lot more and stand out. So that looks great to me. That looks a really good mock-up picture. I think the, uh, the sticker looks a lot more appealing and it jumps out more, and that can capture your buyer's attention. So just like that, we've created an absolutely amazing sticker for free with Canva and another uh, website called Photopea. And just under a few minutes, we've created an amazing design and this is ready to go on Etsy and sell. So guys, if you found this video helpful, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you back for the next one. Peace.